So, it's been a while since I've done Tailspin Dev Vlog. Uh, I can see last time I made one was May 3rd, 2022. So, I've been busy doing other things. So, this probably only represents maybe just under two months worth of work. I've been busy with other things. Um, so, I've got a few other things that I've been playing around with, but I haven't really put together enough to really show. But, the things I've re I have put together um, are to do with how I change, or how I've changed, how I represent objects, and I'm trying to move away from not using Unity components to actually represent game state. So, I've also got a new ship. Um, I've got a little terminal thingy here. Um, yeah, so that generates a ship. Um, this ship starts off with no power, uh, but it does start off with some decoration. Um, yeah, let's have a look down this hallway. The ship is probably about the maximum size that I'm going to build any of these ships. This is already feeling very empty. Not that I've put much into uh, putting things into it, but uh, this would be engineering. Uh, you can see here I've got some power available for the... Turn off that. Top left engine, top right engine, bottom left engine, bottom right engine. Um, you can't see the engines, they're on the outside. But right now, there's no power to them anyway, so we can't make use of them. So, my new thing is all about being able to chain together stuff. So, let's spawn in a tower power supply here. So, this is the basis of a power supply. And you can see, this goes into, well, this has no power. This is the hard point for it. So pick it up, put it in, great. There's still no power though, because this thing is actually needs to be, it's got, needs a little spire put into it. This is potentially an overly complicated power supply, but you know, whoops. Spawn, tower, oops, spire, here. <laughs> okay, so now there's this little spire here, which contains a coil one and coil two hard point. Uh, there we go, pop that into there. Obviously, I still need to f fix up some of these um, tours, uh, collisions and all that. E. Um, now, this is like a coil that then can go into E. Here. And we got a bunch of fancy things. This thing is power up. There we go. You can see that. Um, but we still don't have any power going to the engines, even though there's a bunch of power now being generated. And the there's some light. Uh, that's because this thing here is the power distribution node. Although yes, as soon as the reactor has power, the uh, shields to the uh, shuttle bay turn on, and the main light over the power reactor turns on. But not the other stuff. So if I make a distribution node, there we go, and then boop, pop that in here. Turn back, E. So right now I've got it, the engines need to be powered on before everything else powers on. That's just how I've built it at the moment. It doesn't have to stay that way. Um, okay, there's not much to see on the outside, unfortunately, so this is a little, you're just kind of looking at progress bars turn on. Uh, but this is sort of like the startup sequence of the ship, and... Come on, you gonna get enough power? Well, I hope so. This would be unfortunate. Well, now, is that because we need more power? Oh, never mind. It just took a while for the last thing to charge. All right, and then the lights turn on. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Okay, there's clearly some kinks to work out of the system. Uh, spent some time on this graphic. Reasonably happy with it. It's maybe a little overly bloomy bright, and there's no sound at the moment, so it's a very quiet, loud looking thing. Uh, but yeah, we've got some lights now. Um, so these aren't actually real lights, these aren't area lights. They just really give that illusion, though, don't they? Um, I'll give you a quick look from the outside. So these are the big old engines that get charged up, um, and this is also the new ship. I'm mostly happy with it. 
but it still feels very prototypey. And you know what? It looks like a prototype, so I'm okay with that. It's got a lot of space inside of it. It's got some sensors at the front, heat sinks. Most of these things will be for uh, uh, cosmetic. Um, but yeah, let's see. Now we should be able to drive this thing. I, mean, I need to turn down some of the lights on here, the lighting on here. And I still need to make it properly illuminate things. Anyway. And if we come up here to the bridge, you can see, see the engines pointing out behind us, we've got a chair, and then, there we go, we've got a ship, we can fly around now. Again, this is a bigger ship, so it's supposed to be a little clunky, um, and ideally, it would be more about just giving orders and then walking away, but, uh, yeah, it can go fast in one direction. There's no warp engines yet, or anything like that, but, uh, yeah. It should probably come back to a stop at some point by itself, but, yes. So, um, really the big new thing is that, like, all a lot of the stuff is now all driven by um, an internal game state. So, if I go states, list, you can see there's, like, box 8 ship, different engines, there's the tower, power supply, there's the coils, distribution node, all this sort of stuff. <clears throat> and then I can actually list out states, two string, 18. You can see like how much power does everything have at the moment. Um, can't mouse out in this version, but there's more information there. All of these things are interconnected, so the hard point is connected to the node, and this hard point is connected to that hard point, which is connected to the lights and the engines, and all this sort of stuff. The power supply's gone. Oh no. Well, some graphical things are still an issue. That's the thing that I'm still working on, is making sure that all the graphics are behaving the way they should, which some are. Like this, you stayed here, that's good, and some aren't. Um, but yes, Ooh. I wonder if we can see it, it must be somewhere, big sparkling blue thing, though I have got an all turned around, well, it's gone forever, <laughs> that's okay, you're still here with me ship, um, but yes, the engines, kind of give them a very big bloomy back, um, again, these also get mounted in, I spawned in a. Uh, oh, I can find the origin if I spawn in a ship. Small. And this would be. A sh Oops. Okay. There we go. Can I see another ship? Another ship. Oh, oh, it's down there. There we go. There's the origin all the way back there. But yes, that's, that'll be one that doesn't, because I didn't do spawn complete, that'll be one without engines plugged in already. Um, so I've got a way where I can be like, create from some state, you know, this is what, how everything should be interconnected. Um, and yes, I'm still having some issues with how multiple things are all connected. Clearly, to the internal game state, things are still connected because we still have power, but the graphical side of things still doesn't fully work. So, yeah, that's the part where I'm at. Kind of wanted to just get something out there, being like, I'm still working on things, and the next big thing will be better having the whole separation of what, um, I'll walk around the ship. Having a better separation of, like, what is controlling the location of an object. Because um, I want to have it that, obviously, when we're within physics range, in rendering range, that Unity is controlling like how things are interacting. You've got collisions of objects, you know, like the walls and all this sort of stuff. Um, but when it's out of range and it's just in sort of simulation only mode, yeah, there's no lights at the front of the ship. It's very dark. Um, when it's in simulation only mode, the rest of the game state will still know what to do. It'll still be like, you're, you're, you know, the engines are supplying this much thrust, there's this much power available to them. All of that can be simulated without having any Unity components or game objects uh, available. So, yeah, that's that's the ultimate goal. And then all of that ties in nicely to good serialization because you can just represent everything as a game state. But uh, having that whole handoff and trend, handoff between like something's within visual range, 
create the objects and then have them controlled by physics and something's out of range, control it by some other, I don't know, system. So, yeah. And then I quickly threw together some very basic stuff. So, graphics. Anyway, um, this is a little bare bones because um, I feel like I kind of just wanted to get something out there. But, uh, yeah. Get in the old chair. I'm going to fly back to the other ship. Uh, I'll have to find it first. Uh, but yes, the ultimate goal is having all the old systems in there, tractor track the beams. Ooh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Uh, making maybe some smaller ships again. Uh, I've been having fun making big ships, but they take a long time to put together. Uh, it's a good thing you can go fast in one direction. There we go, you can see the engine mounting points are empty, so in theory you could... Oh, I bonked it. It does have physics. Hey, it does have physics, that's good. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't have any way of stopping itself because the engines aren't there. Uh, but you can see on the underside, right there, that is where I want the cargo chute to be. So you can track the beam and things that way and there'll be internal storage. Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> getting sidetracked now. Um, hopefully there'll be less of a delay, less than a year, that's for sure. Although with Tears of the Kingdom coming out, who knows. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.